The movie starts with a narration from a guy named Ben. He mentions that he is going to reveal the biggest, most well-hidden secret in all of human civilization. Every night, after people brush their teeth, get under the covers, and finally fall asleep, a different version of them comes to life. They are the sleepwalkers. They venture out in the streets and live the best version of themselves without any fear or worry. Sleepwalkers are aware of their waking selves that they carry out during the day, but the waking selves are oblivious to the sleepwalkers. More Moreover, if the secret of the sleepwalkers is ever out, that is, if normal people find out about them, they will mentally die. This means that the sleepwalking personality of a person will eventually vanish. In New York City, the protagonist, Ben, wakes up in his apartment. He is also a sleepwalker, an alternate personality that only comes out after his other self goes to bed. Shortly after, Ben leaves for work. In the subway, he comes across a woman, Allison, who smiles at him gently. However, Ben doesn't recognize her and simply leaves. That evening, Ben arrives at his apartment and watches television while eating some pasta. After dinner, he falls asleep. And not long before midnight, sleepwalker Ben wakes up. This Ben lives a life free of consequence and responsibility, just the way he likes it. Sleepwalker Ben readies to venture into the nightlife as usual. So he dresses up, takes out his camera from a hidden box, and goes outside. In the street, he meets a fellow sleepwalker, Trey, who asks Ben how his waking or day life was. Shortly after, Ben and Trey are joined by two other guys, Danny and Flynn. The group wants to do something adventurous and lively for the night, so they attempt to paint graffiti on a public wall. Ben videotapes their notorious act, but suddenly, a police car arrives and chases them away. Later, the group arrives at a diner, which also happens to be Allison's workplace. Turns out that she is friends with the boys, so she greets them while serving coffee and pancakes. Ben and Allison flirt for a while before the latter mentions that she saw him the other day. Realizing that she simply saw his other self, he lies that he was too caught up in work and didn't notice her. Seeing this, Trey and the boys warn Ben to not get involved with a waking girl, as it could destroy his life. However, Ben doesn't listen to them and secretly manages to get Allison's number. As the group continues dining, they get a notification on their watches. This warns them that it's time for their other self to wake up. Hence, they hurry back to their apartments and tuck themselves into bed. At 6 a.m. in the morning, Ben wakes up like a normal person, oblivious to the adventures his other self enjoyed last night. At work, his boss calls him and mentions that he hadn't been considered for a position that he had applied for previously. As expected, Ben is distraught, but he decides to keep working so that one day, the superiors will notice his hard work and reward him. Later that night, sleepwalking Ben is furious for getting rejected at work, so he instigates a fight in a bar. When he gets knocked out by a stranger, he wakes up to his normal personality. For a split second, Ben is shocked to find himself in a bar with random strangers, but Danny quickly knocks him out again. This time, sleepwalking Ben wakes up. Outside the bar, Trey convinces sleepwalking Ben to not get involved in any fights, since normal Ben will end up in a hospital, unsure of what happened to him. It will also cause him brain damage. Trey then suggests Ben leave for the night and take some rest. But sleepwalking Ben hasn't had enough fun, so he goes to the diner to meet Allison. The two have dinner and talk about their lives and families. Sadly, their romantic conversation is interrupted when sleepwalking Ben gets the notification to return home. Before leaving, Allison expresses her desire to have another date with Ben the following night, and the latter gladly agrees. The following Following night, sleepwalking Ben goes to his ex-girlfriend Kate's place for some dating advice. Kate is also a sleepwalker. Initially, she lashes out at Ben for coming to her for such a matter, but she eventually settles down. Ben reveals that he likes Allison, but since she is a waking girl, he doesn't know how to handle the situation. Kate warns him that he is risking his life for a waking girl, as his sleepwalking discovery could cost his life. Despite this, Ben insists on some advice, and Kate finally starts helping him. She mentions that if he really likes this girl, he has to be cautious about everything. He needs to plan dates, treat her like normal people, and lie to her about his day job. All this time, he has to be equally alert about his other self. Sleepwalking Ben takes Kate's advice and goes to meet Allison for their second date night. The two stroll around Central Park before they come across a large view stone. Allison wants Ben to go there, so the pair climb up the stone and watch the city lights. Then, the two talk about their work life, and Allison mentions that she always wanted to be a musician. She came to New York hoping a friend would set her up for a recording, but she was deceived. For the last three years, she has been waiting tables and living an ordinary waitress life. In turn, Ben also reveals that he wanted to be a sea explorer 
ever since he was a child. In this way, the pair have fun getting to know each other until the crack of dawn. After this, Ben accompanies Allison to her apartment, and the two share a sweet kiss before parting. One night, Trey and the other boys become worried. As Ben has been ignoring them for a week now, Trey calls Ben, who is busy having dinner with Allison. On the phone, Ben doesn't mention his relationship and simply tells his friend that he is sick. Allison is also unaware that Ben hasn't talked about their relationship with his friends. In the following scene, a worried Trey goes to Kate's apartment to ask about Ben. Although reluctant at first, Kate reveals that Ben was there a few days ago, seeking advice for dating a waking girl. Hearing this, Trey becomes furious and he scolds Kate for supporting his delusional friend. The following day at work, normal Ben is called upon by his boss, who informs him that she has reconsidered his application for the promotion. He will get an interview call the next morning from the CEO himself. This excites Ben, and he happily exits the room. Later that evening, Ben readies his suit for the interview. While going through his closet, he discovers sleepwalking Ben's hidden box and the video camera, but he doesn't find anything suspicious. Um, <laughs> except for, you know, the hidden box and the video camera. At midnight, sleepwalking Ben wakes up and immediately hides the contents of his box in the kitchen. Later, he and Allison go for a stroll in the park. There, she surprises Ben with a cute setup for a date night, where she plays her favorite music and the two dance together. After dawn, Ben accompanies Allison to her apartment apartment, and at the same time, he gets a notification that his time is up. However, instead of rushing back home, he decides to spend more time with Allison. The two have coitus, and after Allison falls asleep, Ben leaves a note and sneaks out of the room. Sadly, due to sleepwalking Ben's carelessness, normal Ben wakes up late and misses his interview. He immediately hurries to his boss's office to apologize for oversleeping and pleads to reschedule for the interview, but to no avail. Later, one of Ben's colleagues, Randall, asks Ben if he wants to join him for a beer after work, and the latter agrees. On the other hand, Trey visits Allison at the diner and tries to force her to break up with Ben. When she doesn't listen, Trey lies that Ben isn't who he claims to be, as he is cheating on her with other women. However, his efforts are once again futile, as an enraged Allison kicks him out of the diner. Now, with no other options left, Trey hires a girl to approach Ben and hook up with him. At the bar, Ben and Randall share a bottle of beer. They share a bottle of beer? Just then, Ben is approached by Trey's girl and they chat for a while. By now, Ben is already drunk, so he makes out with the girl. The two then head out to have a romantic dinner. Unfortunately, the girl leads Ben to the same diner where his girlfriend works. When Allison sees Ben with another girl, she lashes out and asks him why he is cheating on her. Sadly, normal Ben, who is also drunk, doesn't recognize her, and he simply acts confused. This adds to Allison's fury, and she storms out of the place, heartbroken. Back at his apartment, once the normal Ben and the girl make love with each other, they fall asleep. At midnight, sleepwalking Ben wakes up and finds out that Allison mistook him for his other personality. He hurries to her apartment, but Allison doesn't answer. The following night, sleepwalking Ben goes to the diner, where he apologizes to Allison, but she is so disgusted at him for humiliating her. She also asserts that Trey was right about Ben, that he was in fact not the person he seems to be. Realizing that Trey was behind all of this, Ben goes to their local hangout bar and punches him. Despite this, Trey tries to make his friend understand that what he's doing could cause his demise, but an agitated Ben ignores him and walks away. Later, sleepwalking Ben goes to Kate's apartment, where she shares that her other self is getting married. Her sleepwalking self is also fading, but she doesn't know the exact reason. Kate reveals that she has been going to bed early and waking up late for the past three weeks. She notes that maybe it's time for her sleepwalking self to fade, while the other personality lives her life fully. One day at the office, normal Ben falls asleep after tiresome work, and not long after, sleepwalking Ben wakes up in his place. Confused, he ventures out and notices Alice heading to the park with her guitar. Nervously, he follows her, only to find out that it's not the normal Allison. It turns out that Allison is also a sleepwalker, but she changes her sleepwalking personality during the day, unlike Ben and his friends. As the two talk, sleepwalking Allison realizes that her normal self has fallen in love with sleepwalking Ben. The latter asks for a solution, and Allison simply suggests that he move on. Later that night, sleepwalking Ben goes back to Kate's apartment, only to discover that sleepwalking Kate has now faded. He realizes that Kate is finally happy with her normal self, so her other personality has died. This gives sleepwalking Ben an idea. Since he cannot reveal the truth to Allison, and also cannot stop thinking of her, he decides to kill his personality. Hence, he goes to his friends and shares his plan. Although the boys are taken aback, they support Ben's decision and hug him one last time before parting ways. Back in his apartment, 
Ben writes a to-do list, which includes three main priorities. To quit his boring job, to sign up for scuba diving, and lastly, to watch a sunset in Central Park. Following the list, at first, he calls his workplace and informs his boss that he is quitting. Then, he calls an agency and signs up for scuba diving lessons. In the next scene, normal Allison wakes up in her apartment and finds a video disc that says, Play Me. Curious, she puts it on and sees Sleepwalking Ben. This time, he reveals everything to her. In the video, Sleepwalking Ben narrates about sleepwalkers. He mentions that sleepwalkers are people with different personalities who share the same body as their normal self. They venture out at night and live their life to the fullest without any fear or consequences. They know what their normal selves are doing but always try to respect their boundaries. The biggest secret about the sleepwalkers is that if they are discovered by the normal people, they are killed forever. After this, Ben shares that it's time for him to let go of his sleepwalking self since he doesn't want to live that life anymore. As the video goes on, sleepwalking Allison suddenly appears and starts playing the guitar. The sight of her doppelganger shocks normal Allison and she finally believes Ben. At the end of the video, Ben asks one last favor from Allison to go to Central Park and wait for his normal self to arrive. Shortly after, normal Ben wakes up in his apartment and by this time, his other self has already died. As Ben gets ready for his day, he comes across the to-do list. Confused, he calls his work only to find out that he has already quit his job. As expected, this shocks Ben, but he eventually assumes that he did it himself. He then decides to follow the final task on the list, to watch sunset at the park. On reaching, he sees Allison, who is also her normal self, watching the sunset. Since Ben doesn't recognize her well, he tries to walk away, but Allison invites him to join her. The movie ends as the pair enjoy the lovely dusk overlooking the city. That was the most complex metaphor for getting blackout drunk that I've ever seen. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.